George Fox is with us, his latest CD entitled Survivor. Apparently, you do Elvis impersonations. Is this true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I used to. My manager kind of uh, curtailed those. She didn't Why? like them too much. Well, I, I, you sort of go through every kind of phase, and uh, lately I've been singing Dean Martin and on the road just for a gag. Like Actually, what? what song? Oh well, here. <laughs> I, uh, you know, it's funny because I got a, I've married into an Italian family, and uh, I was more nervous about. I knew I had the right girl, but I was kind of. You marry the family too. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly right. So I thought, well, I better get on the good side of him. And I had this Italian speech at the wedding. Uh, Io sono molto onorato di essere accettato da questa buona famiglia, <laughs> Godfather. And uh, <laughs> what but, did you just promise there? <laughs> that uh, well, that's who's paying for the reception. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did a little bit of. Uh, this is a, a little you know, uh, one that somehow has become part of our show once in a while. When the moon hits your eye like a big <laughs> pizza pie, that's small of me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it worked, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all started singing along and broke the ice. But yeah, I like to, you know, having come from so many different influences yeah. it's always fun to throw something in the show that people don't expect yeah but it's all there i mean if you love music you love music yeah that's right and, and country you know country right now it's all hot new country yeah, yeah. and uh, uh the western has sort of disappeared out of it but uh, yeah. uh it's so many different influences i don't know you know uh, it's good and it's bad you know yeah but it's nice to be able to just do that now this woman that you've married monica mm -hmm. you're pretty seriously in love yeah, it's uh, it's hard to go on the road these days, <laughs> but uh, you know she she's busy in the television industry too. She's got a quite a career going, yeah. and uh, so we make the most of the time we're together. That's for sure. Yeah, is it hard when uh, the both of you are working? I mean, she works she works at uh, for Red Green. Yeah, she's yeah. Uh, independent television yeah. pr uh, production. So she, yeah, she works with keeps those guys in line. Yeah, I don't that's know how good. she does that's it. Tough. But, yeah. <laughs> But and you live on the farm, and you have to travel and do shows. Right. And uh, uh, I don't know when we're having kids. That's the biggest yeah, question I've had on the... On the, uh, the lovely show. thing that I read, two things, that you actually married this woman twice. That's because right, Because yeah. you wanted your mom, who was ill, mm -hmm. to witness the wedding. Yeah, we, uh, we certainly wanted to share that... Uh, uh, with mom and she you know she she had cancer and um, started failing and, and uh, you know we had plans for the wedding at yeah. that time so we yeah we definitely wanted to so we we had a small ceremony right in the living room there in Cochrane and uh, uh, yeah it was one of the best moments I'm sure her life it was certainly one for me uh, to, to bring that kind of joy to her yeah. uh, you know in that circumstances but uh, uh, yeah, and the song, the song that came out of it, actually, I, I played it uh, for her for the first time. Uh, this is the, the wedding song that yeah. I sort of have come to be. Uh, I gave you my, I give you my word. I right. mean, this sounds romantic. Okay, let's hear a little <laughs> bit of that. Well, I, it gets better because I, uh, uh, it was quite a successful song in, yeah. in Canada. And the Quebec market is always a tough one to crack, uh, especially if you don't speak French. So I, I tried my best in the studio to, uh, encouraged by the record company, to, to do a French version. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a West, typical Westerner, not too fluent. <laughs> I look like Jacques Cousteau when I wear a black toque. You know, that's about as close as I get. But uh, it turns out I'm great. So let me, let me just okay. try a little bit. Je te donne ma parole. Je te la promets, l'amour pour toujours, elle est unité. Jusque la fin des temps, à ta volonté, ici devant Dieu, je te donne ma parole. Oh, je t'aime, je 
して、ダンジャクスト。No, wait a minute. <laughs> you're just throwing the. That's great, that's good. Yeah. So, have you been taking French you. lessons or you just sort of decided to learn the words? No, I, I just got through the song. That's about all I could do, <laughs> really, right now for you. But uh, uh, yeah, I love, I love singing in French. I mean, to that song particularly,、yeah. it felt really good. So, who sang this at your wedding? Did someone perform it? Did you perform it? Did you say the words? No, actually, I, no, I didn't have the nerve to do that. <laughs> you were too nervous. <laughs> yeah. But、uh, what happened is, I wrote the song for Monica after I was engaged and brought it on a cassette tape back to, to Canada. And we had supper that night. And a- supper, you see, he says supper. You know he's a Westerner. <laughs>、yeah. That's the yeah, meal that's you、true. have at night, okay? <laughs> Dinner everywhere、uh, else. <laughs> yeah, that's true, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But we,、uh, I said, honey, here's the one I'd like to dance to at our wedding, see what you think. And she heard it and looked at me with those big brown eyes and said,、uh, Is that Jim Neighbor singing? <laughs> no, no, she said no. no she, she loved it, so that, was,、uh, that became our、oh, song. That's great.、Yeah. I mean, it's nice to be married to someone who can write this kind of beautiful lyric. <laughs> yeah, I, well, she, she's, it's nice to be married to somebody who will inspire you, yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. The other woman, of course, your late mother, who really inspired a lot of the music on this,、mm-hmm. and the next song that you're going to. I'm going to sing、right. for us. It's the title of the CD, Survivor. Your mom wrote a letter as she was saying goodbye at the end of her life, saying, I've had 76 good years, so it's time to move on and make room for someone else. Life has been good, so now I leave to see what death holds.、Mm-hmm. What an incredible lady. Oh, yeah, she really、uh, had a lot of strength. She was a very quiet person, but she uh, really uh, had a lot of fortitude and.、Uh, You know, to this day, the song, of course, was inspired by her and the fact that、uh, you know, she is a survivor in my life, all the things、mm-hmm. I learned and looked up to her for.、Uh, and uh, so it's actually, a, to me, it's not a sad song,、right. it's, it's really an encouraging song. But yeah, I'd love to, to do right, it for you. All right, so Brian's waiting patiently over there. Brian Gatto, who is going <laughs>、yeah, to play this on the piano. And- This is just lovely. So, this is off the, the latest album, George Fox. The album is called Survivor, and、uh, so is this song. It takes time. Changes. I'm learning to live on, but I'm scared. It was my greatest fear. God took her away, but in my heart, she's still here. She's a survivor. That's the woman I know. Living day to day. Talks to me somehow, tells me I'll survive the love again. Feels like years since I thought about a thing called love. Whenever I see two lovers kiss, I still think of us. Someday, I know a change will come, and it won't just be her memory. I'm seeing in someone, she's a survivor. That's the woman I know, living day to day.
Talks to me somehow Tells me I'll survive the love again She tells me I will live to love again Do you suppose she's listening? Oh, I know she is. You know? <laughs> we'll dedicate that one to Gert Fox. And when we come back, we'll continue our conversation with her son, George. <laughs> 